If we were to think what the most common jobs we electricians go out to for a customer, you wouldn't be far off if you said adding additional sockets in a room, wiring a spur off a ring or radial circuit, or the dreaded call out where a cable has got damaged, with a customer who's very sheepish and not able to tell you how it got damaged. So when time is of the essence and you need a quick solution to get the customer back up and running again, or a secure and innovative way to extend an existing socket circuit, we need to reach for the right product. Now you may remember a video from time gone by where Joe and Gary raced each other in connecting a junction box with Joe being victorious with the quick wire lighting junction box and both were amazed on the speed and security of those terminations. Well, Quickwire have now added a new junction box to their already impressive range, which includes the switch and load junction box, the 16 amp splitter junction box, and the one I really do like for when I'm installing down lighters, the T connector plug and socket. And now we have the Quickwire 24 amp splitter junction box in both two way and four way. And I've managed to tear this out of Gary's hand so I can use it on a job I have coming up. So you join me again at the same customer's property where I fitted an electric vehicle charger. And you may remember me saying that the customer is decorating. This time the customer is after three additional sockets in the bedroom. It's a little awkward going back to the consumer unit, so I've decided to break into the ring and extend it and also take a spur to an additional socket. Well, power off and I start hunting for a suitable place to break into the ring final. And I have a socket in the perfect location. So let's back it off and what would you know? Uh, it's a spur. Please don't be one of those jobs. Heading next door, I find a great place I can break into the ring and fit the quick wire 24 amp junction box. So as with any house bash, we need the cutter, dust extraction and every door in the house closed. All three sockets were chopped in straightforward enough and finished off with the chisel and quite honestly the runs were lovely. The boards they came up a dream and everything was going really well. Well apart from creating a fireplace on this chase now it was time to throw in the cables to each socket point and get them set in and ready. The cables went in well through existing holes and fed up to the socket points. Now, as I'm using a chaser, I have set the depth to allow for some conduit to add additional protection for the cable. Now, normally I would use oval for this, but I had some 20 mil on the van and it does the job. With all the sockets wired and all the making good finished, it was time to break into the ring and put the quick wire two-way splitter to its paces. So I'm using the quick wire cable stripper, which has a guide on here to strip the cable to 22 mil. And once the outer insulation is off, you then line up these end clamps with the inner insulation to strip back to the conductors. Now, it's really important that you do not spread the wires because, well, you don't need to. It is stripped to the perfect length and the cable will literally just click into place. And then it's done as quick as that. So I connected the other leg of the ring, which was just as easy. And I also fixed the one back to the joists as well. The clips have notches in them, which fit into the quick wire junction box perfectly, making it really secure. It's a really small and slim unit. So even in the tightest of spaces, this junction box is going to fit. And if you do need to remove the cable, you can with this neat little tool, which slides in here and pop, the cable comes out really easy. Oh, and before you get at me, it is maintenance free. So it's very happy under the floorboards. Back into the bedroom to connect the spur and this time I'm going to be using the four way splitter. So breaking into the ring again, we connect the ring legs into the quick wire four way and flipping it over, we can connect the spur into the splitter here. As we are not using the fourth way, we just need to click this into place and that's it done. And if you are wondering why it has four ways and also why it's rated at 24 amps, I have answered that question in another video and the link will pop up at the end of this one. Well, this job has been a dream so far and it's a great moment where we start putting all the boards back and oh bother. Look at this. I've noticed I have a friction burnt cable, which must have happened when I was pulling it through and it's too tight for me to repair by traditional methods. So, Right, let's rip it out and replace the leg. Or shall I? Can I use the two-way splitter to repair the cable? Well, I've got no slack, but it's worth a go. 
So a quick cut and square off the ends and I've made it even shorter so I do hope this works. So I strip it back on both of the ends and I connect one in and then make off the other and look at that, I've actually gained a little length. Well that's it, job done and it could not have gone better. Nice chases, lovely customer who makes tea faster than I can drink it and this awesome product, the Quickwire 24 amp junction box. This made the connections and install effortless and the time it saved as well. I couldn't believe how fast it was. No sleeving was needed either for the CPC. This is a product which has to be tried to be believed. So if you have enjoyed watching this install and want to learn more about the regulation requirements for breaking into ring and radial circuits and why this device is rated at 24 amps, then be sure to hit the video right here.